And now, Bomo Briefs from the Dragon Ball franchise. I know that many people don't like her character. Heck, 20 something years ago, when I first saw her, I didn't like her. She can be loud and bossy, but there's more to her than that. I feel she's the most important and possibly the most powerful character in all of Dragon Ball. She's the one that gathered the entire gang together at the start of the story. She created the Dragon Radar, which makes searching for the Dragon Balls a snap. She created the Time Machine, which not only saved Goku's life, but everyone else's when you think about it, as well as learning the Namek language and refurbishing Kami's spaceship for the Namek trip. Okay, so she's an extremely useful character, but that isn't going to make it someone a great character, right? Here's the thing though, as I got older, I started liking her character more. It started when I realized that Boma is the straight man of the series. The Dragon Ball universe is full of very broad and often comedic personalities. She plays well off of other characters like Goku, Krillin and Master Roshi, in the beginning and Vegeta, Whis and Beerus later on. Her reactions to what they're doing at a particular moment are funny and completely reasonable. She also forces everyone to keep their eyes on the prize or to stay focused on a particular goal. Some characters come off as being one note, but she has a wide range of emotions and behaves as any normal person would in the situations she finds herself in. Another thing I really like about her is her courageous and adventurous spirit. I mean, think about it. At the start of the series, her parents let their preteen to teenage daughter go out on a world-spanning search for treasure, seemingly just knowing that she could take care of herself. It may seem crazy, but she did know how to take care of herself. She seems to be an expert at shooting firearms. She's also experienced at making deals with people in order to get her way. She's also shown to be a great inventor since she was a child. I mean, heck, in the Jacko prequel comic, she fixed his ship and created a laser death ray. Also, it seems she may have more importance in the future Dragon Ball Super storylines. I also like the fact that she is a good person and willing to go great lengths to help out her friends and family. Examples would be her roles in the Red Ribbon Army Saga, the Namek Saga, and searching for the Super Dragon Balls. And considering that she doesn't have any superpowers, only her intelligence, courage, and fierce loyalty to her friends and family, then I think it says a lot about the type of person she is. No wonder Vegeta hooked up with her. Also, while she is most likely the smartest person in the series, she typically doesn't use that fact to lord over people. I mean, heck, if she ever did become evil, I doubt any of the Z Wars would be able to stop her. I also like the comedy that she brings. Whether it's her own fault or because of someone else, she's part of some of the best gags in the series. Two of the best are when Boma tries to bribe both Master Roshi and Goku to get the Dragon Balls after first meeting them. In the first gag, she finds out that Goku isn't like other boys. As for the Roshi gag, that one was set up a little bit earlier and has a very memorable payoff. Thanks, Mr. Toriyama. Boma is easily the most well-rounded female character in Dragon Ball and perhaps the most well-rounded character overall, even more than Vegeta and Piccolo. It's just too bad that none of the other females in the series had as much attention or care put into them. 